Hey, Cool Springs, Russ Ramsey here. I wanted to give you a quick update on what we're gonna be doing for the next few weeks in light of Governor Lee's executive order uh, that came down pertaining to COVID and gatherings and things like that. And so you should have received an email uh, laying all of this out, but I wanted to just walk us through it uh, here with you directly. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is for the next three Sundays, we are going to be live stream only. So that is December 27th, January 3rd, and January 10th. And then Lord willing, after that, on the 17th and beyond, we'll be back to resuming uh, this hybrid that we've been doing of in-person and live stream, so those options are there. Uh, but as we're doing this, there's a couple things I wanted to remind us of as we're going into this. The first is that we really want to encourage 100% participation in these worship services. If you call Cool Springs your church home, we really encourage you to tune in to these services. And I would encourage you to do it at nine uh, as a way of preserving the rhythm of making corporate worship part of your Sundays. Uh, so if we, we're all tuning in, I know there's nothing magical about that. And yet at the same time, there's something in the solidarity of gathering and being present for worship as a congregation, even though we're scattered right now. And the other thing I want to encourage is 100% participation for those who are able right now uh, to participate in our year-end giving. December is a big month in the life of the church. About 25% of a church's income comes in in this particular month. And so I want to encourage you in that. Now, as we go into the holidays, this is a time where many of us I know, and I'm counted among them, are just, I'm weary. I'm tired of living my life um, with COVID in mind. And so one of the temptations that goes with that is to let our guard down. Uh, the holidays are here. We're just tired of this. There's a vaccine that's being rolled out. So there are a lot of things that might factor in us wanting to let our guard down. And I just want to encourage us all, don't do that. Uh, don't do that. Uh, be, be, let's, be, let's be vigilant right now in preserving, uh, caring for ourselves and for one another. We have a, a great opportunity right now to live out a crucial aspect of the Christian faith. And that is where we're walking in the footsteps of Christ who set aside his right to himself in order to serve and to care for others. And we read about this in Philippians chapter 2. I wanted to read just a couple of verses very quickly. Uh, this is written by the Apostle Paul while he was suffering. He was in prison. And he says this to the church. He says, let each of you look not only to his own interests, so we should be looking to our own interests, of course, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he made himself nothing taking the form of a servant. And this is something that we have the opportunity to enter into with Jesus is to take on the form of a servant in the way that we serve one another and in the way that we care for one another and in the way that we set aside our desires and our, and our, and our sense of, of what we want to do in the best interest of caring for those around us. So this really is an ideal time and a, and a, and a great opportunity for us to be what Jesus said we were. Uh, we talked about this last Sunday in the sermon. As Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You're a city set on a hill. We have an opportunity to model for those around us living self-deferentially uh, as people who are following Christ and laying down ourselves and, and, our, and, and our desires and our comforts in order to care for others. And so, and so let's stay in it. Uh, cool Springs. Let's stay in it. And I'm looking forward to resuming the time when we can gather back together again for our hybrid of in-person and live stream services. And until then, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I love you, Cool Springs.